Securing your account is always very important, especially your work-related accounts because it may contain a lot of sensitive files that you share with your colleagues. When a bad actor gets access to your account, they'll be able to access those sensitive files as well, which is of course something we'd like to prevent. By adding multi-factor authentication to your account on top of your regular password, you're adding an extra layer of security so that if a bad actor somehow obtains your password, they still cannot immediately just log in. In short, multi-factor authentication, or MFA, is an extra check to make sure that the person who's trying to log into your account is really you. When MFA is enforced by your organization, the first time you log in afterwards will look a little different. Insert your email and password like usual. Once you click the sign in button, the login screen will tell you that there is some more information required to keep your account secure. Click next to begin the setup process. On the first page, Microsoft asks you to download the Microsoft Authenticator app. Go to the App Store on iOS or the Play Store on Android to download it. Or click the link on the page itself to get started. Microsoft also allows you to use different Authenticator apps if you wish to do so. But for now, we're going with Microsoft's offering. You might also see this option down here called I want to set up a different method. With this option, you can select to add a phone number instead so you can use SMS authentication. However, due to fraud methods like SIM swapping, this method is less secure than using an authenticator app. So only pick this method when you really do not have any other option. Once you have the Microsoft Authenticator app installed, click Next. Open the app and accept the privacy policy and tell Microsoft whether or not you want to send them usage data. Now, instead of tapping Sign in with Microsoft, tap on Scan a QR code. Give access to the camera if necessary. In your browser, click on Next until you see a QR code pop up. You have to scan this one with the Microsoft Authenticator app. If for whatever reason you can't scan the QR code or the camera doesn't work, you can click the Can't Scan Image button underneath the QR code to make a code appear. On your mobile device, tap on the Or Enter Code Manually button and insert the information from your browser into the Microsoft Authenticator app. Once you've scanned the QR code or have inserted the information manually, the app might ask you to allow notifications. Always tap Allow for this as notifications are very important. Your account is now added to the home screen of the Microsoft Authenticator. In your browser, click Next. A code you have to insert now appears. Insert this code into the pop-up that appears in the Microsoft Authenticator app and tap Yes. On iOS, the app might ask you if you want to enable Face ID to confirm logging in. Allow this as it's the most secure way to confirm that you are you. In your browser, check if the status says Notification Approved. If it does, then everything is good to go. Click Next again to confirm that your default sign-in method is now linked to the Microsoft Authenticator app and click Done to finish the process. You have now successfully enabled multi-factor authentication for your account and you're now a little bit more secure than you were before. Feels good, right? Now, every time you want to log in, you have to keep your phone handy and insert the code displayed on the page into the Microsoft Authenticator app. And if you get this pop-up knowing that it wasn't you prompting it, press the No, It's Not Me button and the bad actor trying to access your account won't get in this way. Good luck! With Workplace Buddy, we help you and your organization stay up to date and secure in this digital world. Our bite sized learnings, updates, and support are tailored to your personal needs and your security skill level. If you're interested to learn more, go to our website and schedule a demo. And of course, I hope you all have an apocatastic day.